Okay, let's now talk about the assembly elections across five states, which concluded yesterday, the last of those, in fact, uh, the polls closed late last evening. The people of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Telangana and Mizoram have given their mandate. It's now down to the counting day on the 11th. But exit poll results, uh, if they are anything to go by, December 11th could signal a change in tide across the country. We bring you the most comprehensive pre-poll analysis of four states. Let's begin in Chhattisgarh, where it could be a fight to the finish between the BJP and the Congress. For the 90-member Chhattisgarh Assembly exit polls predict that the Congress could be in the driver's seat against incumbent Chief Minister Raman Singh, who has in the past been extremely popular with the people of Chhattisgarh. With former Chief Minister Ajit Jogi's Janta Congress Chhattisgarh, or the BSP, in fact playing kingmaker. You know, Chhattisgarh is one of those states where even a 1% swing can make a difference. I mean, that was precisely the uh, uh, that was precisely what happened in uh, the last assembly election. And that resulted in a difference of 10 seats. Now, here the third element is definitely Ajit Jogi, Mayawati combined. Mayawati, ha the BSP has done well in Chhattisgarh in the past. By well, I mean picking up three or four states uh, seats and hurting the Congress in uh, areas. So I think every, the, the imponderable really is the Ajit Jogi uh, Mayawati combined and to what extent it has hurt the BJP, uh, sorry, the Congress, possibly the BJP in places yes. because let's not forget that BJP also gets the votes of Dalits, tribals, uh, mm -hmm. OBCs. I mean, it's a pan kind of a party. It's not just an upper caste party anymore. So we have to see where this combine has hurt who and yes. what kind of a swing that results in. I believe Chhattisgarh will be pretty close to call. In Madhya Pradesh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan has been in power for four consecutive terms, but has he actually brought the promise Vikas, as he says he has brought to the people of Madhya Pradesh? The exit poll results predict that the BJP and the Congress are going neck and neck but falling short of actually winning a clear majority in the 230-member assembly. If the Congress wins in Madhya Pradesh, I will not be surprised. And if there is a small victory for, the, uh, for BJP in Madhya Pradesh, I won't be surprised. Why? Because in Madhya Pradesh, the main battle horse of the BJP is Shivra Singh Chauhan, not the Honorable Prime Minister. Mm. Because in the cities, for instance in Indore, one heard a lot of comments against certain policies of the centre which were rather angry comments, you know, and people saying that we are going to vote against the BJP for these policies. I can name those policies like demonetization, uh, like GST, uh, like oil prices, you know, and people were very, very unhappy. In the villages, there was a degree of unhappiness against Mr. Shivra Singh Chauhan because certain good policies that he gave found bad implementation on the ground and farmers in large numbers were not getting the, uh, the price they were seeking. In fact, they had to sell it at a loss. Uh, you know, they had a scheme where you had to register online and a large number of small farmers had not registered online. Mm -hmm. And that is why they were out of the equation. Uh, though there is, uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan has been there in power for 15 long years, there, could have, there should have been heavy anti-incumbency factor work in, in Madhya Pradesh, but at least the exit poll does not show that. Mm -hmm. Though the pre-poll uh, opinion polls by many channels had shown a lot of uh, uh, mileage for uh, Congress, uh, actually exit poll that does not uh, seem to be so. So going by the exit poll, it seems that uh, BJP will romp home. These days, okay. if you see last two elections, not only in Madhya Pradesh, but in many, many uh, other uh, states, th there is the possibility of hung assembly, at least in large seats, uh, states like, say, Madhya Pradesh or uh, uh, other states, uh, that, is, that is diminishing every, every year. Hmm. This is because now voters, yes, I yes. think, have realized that uh, uh, there is no point in giving a hung assembly. So they, they are decisive. Yes. They give a decisive vote either this way or that so, way. So, you, so Bharat Kumar are handing Madhya Pradesh to the BJP clearly. You are saying it's, the BJP is going to win Madhya Pradesh. Madhya, yeah. BJP will win Madhya Pradesh. Uh, I am so not saying like, like last year. But definitely they will have comfortable single party majority.
Let's talk about Rajasthan now, which is a high-stakes battle for 200 seats. Now, 199 of those actually went to the polls uh, on Friday, but Rajasthan has a history of changing the political party in power. They don't like any party in power for more than five years. An exit poll suggests that that trend will continue, but it's predicting a massive sweep for the Congress party in the royal state. For the longest time, uh, we've all been uh, anticipating that the BJP is in trouble. Uh, it's been pretty obvious since the BJP got trounced in the by-elections in Rajasthan in uh, February this year. Ever since then, there's been this whole question of both anti-incumbency and a very strong one at that. And secondly, in many ways, this could well be considered a verdict on the style of functioning and the governance that uh, Chief Minister Vasudra Raja has provided. Remember when the BJP came into power in Rajasthan five years ago, they came in with a historic mandate. Mm -hmm. Nobody had ever got over 80% of the seats in the 200-seat 200, uh, assemb uh, assembly. For the first time, the BJP got that magical figure. And then uh, what it leads to is also a huge revolution of expectations. So people then expect that uh, all the promises that have been made to them will be fulfilled, will be taken care of by the government that you've brought in with such huge uh, majority. Uh, somewhere uh, it's pretty obvious that the connect with the ordinary citizen went wrong. Uh, much of the blame actually went to Vasundra Raje, despite the fact that she's carried out a number of yatras, etc. But mm. somewhere that accessibility, that availability uh, that the government and particularly the chief minister is supposed to have, that was missing and that created a buzz. Let's now talk about the state of uh, Telangana, which called for an early election after the Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao's TRS decided to dissolve the Assembly and it seems their gamble, at least according to the exit polls, has paid off. The seat projection by Times Now, CNX expects the ruling TRS to win a comfortable majority in the 199, uh, 119 member uh, constituent Assembly while the Congress TDP alliance is expected to finish in second. One of the major promises in Telangana, in fact, you know, if we are, we are discussing about Telangana, Telangana, there has been a movement for about, you know, 60 years. One of the major issues was uh, employment here, which, you know, Mr. Chandrasekhar Rao could not do it. You know, he promised, you know, two lakh people will be recruited. He could not recruit uh, many people. In fact, you know, just before, you know, he dissolved the assembly, he made a promise that, you know, there are one lakh seven thousand posts, you know, still, you know, pending, you know, he could not uh, do it. But the reasons, you know, why, you know, uh, KCR is doing, because Congress took a lot of time in announcing their candidates. For the first time in Telangana, Congress, Communist Party of India, Telugu Desham, Telugu Desham has been, you know, yes, anti-Congress, yes. as all of you know, for the last, you know, 35, 40 years. In fact, you know, Telugu Desham was established only against, you know, the, the Congress yes, yes, policy yes, by N.T. Rama Rao. And there was a lot of opposition to Mr. Chandra Babu Naidu coming to coming to Telangana and canvassing because, you know, TDP was against Telangana, yes. creation of Telangana. That has, yes. you so know, a lot of them, you know, in Telangana did not appreciate, you know, Chandra Babu Naidu coming and campaigning in, uh, in yes. uh, Telangana. That has definitely Hurt. went against uh, the, the Congress party.